Uh, yeah, what a night, S sensational. I couldn't be happier about this. I couldn't be happier with the way this went on account of uh, only 12 months ago, our next winner was ready to throw in the tambourine, but then he picked up the guitar instead and within one year dropped a single, an album, a tour, and most importantly, landed a GQ cover. If that wasn't enough, to warrant an award in the first place in the wake of the Manchester bombing atrocity. He gave a cathartic, beautifully unifying performance, beautifully judged to a city and a nation badly in need of it. Ladies and gentlemen, GQ's rock and roll star, definitely, not maybe, the one and only, my very good friend, Mr. Liam Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen. Liam Gallagher. Right. It's a nice one for the GQ award. Um, obviously, it's, this man took all the words out of my mouth and that, and my life, and that. Uh, but um, yeah, so um, yeah, interesting man. Interesting. A lot of people got a lot to say these days, and obviously I have, but I haven't tonight because I've drank a little bit too much champagne. But table number 18, that's where it's fucking at. And as, Stor as Stormzy said before, you got a selfie with Ronan McKeaton, I got an handshake off him. But I want to say, Anthony Joshua, the fucking main man. I have to big up to him. I can't, I can't get big up here, man, knowing that he's over there. But I said to him before, I said, I hope you smash everyone to smithereens. Smither fucking reens? What the fuck's that about, man? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I got to go, man. Listen, nice one for the award. Take care. <laughs>